because I want to talk about this issue that's destroying American families, the sale of illegal drugs over the internet and social media. I, in my opinion, these sales are no different on, on the, this heinous dark web, but, they're, but, but I'm not sure there's a difference between what we're doing. So this crisis is, clearly has been exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. We took our eye off the ball here in Congress and across the country. More than while the COVID was raging, we had ninety-three thousand people die of drug overdoses in the United States last year. That that was nearly a thirty percent increase, and in West Virginia, it was a fifty-five percent increase. We've spent billions of dollars developing a vaccine that's helping solve one pandemic, but the other continues to rage on. Now, this pandemic is shined a spotlight on a problem that. We, you and I, Libby, have been working with, we've been aware of it for years. In 2018, Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook testified in front of our Energy and Commerce Committee. We showed him ads on his platform selling illegal drugs that were up and running as we spoke in the committee. The ads came down, and we immediately thereafter, and quite frankly, and he, and he issued an apology for allowing that to happen. But in 2021, he appeared again before the committee. And this time we did it again. We embarrassed him again with numerous Instagram ads selling drugs that you would have thought they would have learned their lesson. The problem is still rampant. And then Jack Dorsey with Twitter testified before us. And we did exactly the same thing. We studied him and we went right after him, confronting him about thousands of users using uh, selling illegal drugs. On his platform, ecstasy, Percocet, even heroin. <laughs> Facebook and Twitter say they're all trying to combat the problem, but they've all failed. Now it appears a show game is emerging. A, a dealer simply migrates from one site to another. On the call today with us are parents of two teenagers, 14 and 16 years old. They've died, unfortunately, miserably after taking pills containing fentanyl. They connected with a drug dealer over Snapchat. It's just too easy to access drugs over social media platforms. And listen, despite all these problems, last month, DEA merely issued a toothless warning to social media platforms about their misuse. These companies are obviously not self-policing. It's time for Congress to act. Since the 2018 hearing, we've worked together with ASOP to fix this problem, and a solution could soon come to fruition with legislation that we've both been championing. We call it simply the Drugs Act. The bill was basic. Within seven days of notification, online platforms are required to lock and suspend any domain name that allows the sale of illegal drugs. Right now, the government is allowing the internet to become a place of lawlessness, no different than the dark web. Internet companies are not showing courage by taking down obviously illegal sites. They must be held to a higher standard. That's what accountability is all about. Our, our ask of you and your members is to help us find a Democrat so that we have a bipartisan approach. Then we can lead this bill for all of us. Once we have that, we will introduce it. But it's got to be bipartisan. When we're in the Republicans, we're in the minority. I've got to make this a bipartisan approach. Senator Rubio would introduce a companion bill in the Senate. We look forward to continue working with ASOP to get this bill not only introduced, but signed in law. Look, that's what you think. Communities across this country don't tolerate drug dealers in the back alleys and on street corners. They arrest them. Why is why are we turning a blind eye and letting dealers enter our homes on the internet? This has to stop. And I'm ready to work with you. So God bless all of you. Thank you for this chance to chat with you today. Let's have more. Let's let's hear what questions you might have in mind. But thank you. God bless all of you. Well, uh, first, yeah, thank you.